Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. Heh. 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 And other, uh, anger-inducing news. So, uh, recently... Recently... It, uh, it came to light... That... The PvE mode for overwatch 2 that was very heavily advertised and pushed and talked about by blizzard is dead it's not happening at all and they they and there was some like uh interview or conversation about it or whatnot by the people working on the shit and it was like yeah we um we're not doing it uh Something, something, the original plan is scrapped and blah, 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 and shit. And I'm not gonna lie. Before Overwatch 2 came out, I've only played a grand total of like, like five Overwatch games. And the very first one I played was when I, uh, I played Hanzo. This is Overwatch 1. I played Hanzo and, uh, his... Uh, L1 button was like a ricochet arrow shot thingy and I got play of the game because of that and I was like oh that was cool and then I uninstalled the game because I wasn't really feeling it and then I played like four other games just because someone like, like asked me to try to give another shot and I was like nope I'm still not feeling it and then Overwatch 2 is you know announced and it is it's announced that it's free so I was like shit I'm normally not one to pass up a free game, but Overwatch ain't my shit. And then they were like, oh, we're gonna put in a PvE mode later on down Overwatch 2's life cycle. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Maybe I will install the game and try and give it a shot, right? So I played it a few times um, since the game came out. Granted, that few times is like I said, like ten games. I kind of see the appeal of it now, but I stopped playing it because I was like, I just want to play the PVE mode whenever that comes out. And apparently, that was supposed to be like like the mode that you actually pay money for. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm willing to do that because I paid for uh, I paid for Fortnite's PVE mode and whatever because I like that kind of stuff. Again, I'm an MMO player, right? I like PVE modes in any game right if if e even even if like if 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 cod had like a pve mode okay. that wasn't just zombies because zombies got very boring for me after a while if cod had a pve mode i'd give it a shot right i love that shit that's that's what i grew up fucking playing right and so like the main reason that I downloaded Overwatch 2 and installed Overwatch 2 for, now that that is gone, I'm sure as shit going to be uninstalling the game. And a lot of other people have uh, made uh, uh, Twitter posts and threads about how they're going to be uninstalling the game and shit. And it's just like, bro, like... Like, damn, Blizzard keeps taking L after L after L, bro. And it's like, can y'all ever do anything right? Anything at all? Can you do it right? For Christ's sake, dude. Like, damn, dude. Like, literally, the only reason, the only reason I installed that shitty fucking game was because... At some point, I was going to be getting a PvE mode. And now that that's not a thing anymore, I have no reason to be allowing that trash to take up space on my hard drive. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. On top of that, there was really no reason for Overwatch 2. Because Overwatch 1, as far as I knew, was doing just fine. It's not like the game was falling apart at the seams, not like there was any like major coding problems that I saw whenever I did look at the game, 
or like like watch the esports league or anything there was no reason to make overwatch 2 and everything that's in overwatch 1 i mean that's in overwatch 2 now could have just been very easily added to overwatch 1 right because it's not like making a whole new character was going to be like like making the game have a heart attack or anything of the sort it's just it's just an extremely boneheaded stupid fucking move man because it's not like it's not like people had you know staggering levels of faith in blizzard or anything especially given you know the 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 recent bullshit that happened a long time ago well i say long time ago but it really wasn't that long ago some people was willing to give them a a, a chance a chance however small it may be to put out this pve shit and get it right and they failed it's fucking trash dude and and like like this is the problem with a lot of uh a lot of triple a studios and all that shit because like they say that oh we're gonna do this 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 and that and we're gonna give the people this 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 and that and then it never fucking happens and then they want to sit up here and be like oh why does nobody buy our products anymore why does nobody have faith in the company anymore and it's like maybe maybe if you stop making so many goddamn empty promises you would have a little bit more respect wouldn't you but no no especially within the last few years of gaming uh companies just can't fucking do that and and people wonder why so many more individuals that you know play games shit are are, are turning to indie games or going back and playing old games where you know they were the shit and they didn't have to, they didn't have any of the modern day triple a bullshit going on with them you know the game that you got was just that the whole ass game no irrelevant unnecessary levels of dlc no 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 day one patch bullshit no no, no on the disc DLC and shit. No, you just got a whole ass game. And it was good. People had trust and faith and hope in big game companies back in the day. People gave a fuck. People paid attention to what the fuck was going on people were 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 happy as shit when a company would put out a fucking banger because it would actually be a fucking banger but nowadays nowadays companies push it out and it's like it's not even fucking finished the damn game doesn't even fucking work half the damn time that's like, dude, why, why is this what, what, what gaming from the big wigs has turned to? And then, as I said earlier, they wonder why they go to indie titles because the indie titles are actually fucking done. The people that make the indie games actually give a fuck about what they're doing, about what they're making, about what they're, what kind of product that they're putting out to people, bro. The indie devs give a fuck. The indie devs give a fuck they don't let all this current bullshit happen bro and then and then you got you got fucking bitch ass company like kotaku and ign trying to do everything in their power to put down and hold back uh indie game devs saying that like oh well it's bad and blah 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 like there was a clip recently going around talking about Oh, well, if Reed didn't hear about it and review it, likely no one does and no one cares. First of all, IGN, you're a fucking joke. No one, no one fucking likes you these days. And on top of that, you typically only give good reviews to, you know, the same cookie-cutter bullshit that comes out year after year. Or whoever has the long stick of money up your ass and, 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 and buying their way 
into the fucking good review and shit. Like, like game journalism is a joke and has been a joke for quite some time. And IGN and Kotaku and other places have just been making that worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Getting back to the Overwatch shit and the shit that's wrong with games these days, bro. It's just, why, 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 why does this shit continue to happen? As I was saying before OBS started freaking the fuck out, um, yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't like this current trend of games and games coming out from big name companies that are just fucking trash dude i really don't like it bro i really really don't fucking like it why why would you promise something so so monumental and so fucking cool and then just don't do that get people's hopes up and then take their fucking money and then just let that dream die like like you bastards had a chance to to renew some newfound hope in your fucking company and then you just colossally colossally fumble it fumble all of it and then and then and then and then like say the shit with no fucking remorse either too like come on are you serious anyway it's just it's bullshit bro and i'm, I'm tired of the bullshit this spot looks perfect for fishing uh, i'm tired of the bullshit